shear stress so under this topic there are a few things that you must be able to do or must be able to calculate the first thing you must be able to calculate its shear its shear stress at any point in question at any point in question so let's say you are given a structure like this and then it's labeled a b and have a neutral axis which would be c and d so the question might say calculate shear stress at a calculate shear stress at b shear stress at c and shear stress at d so the first thing you must be able to calculate under shear stress it is the shear stress at any point in question number two you must be able you must be able to draw the shear the shear stress distribution So you must be must be also be able to calculate a shear stress distribution, or you must be able to draw a shear stress distribution diagram. So there's a formula that you use to calculate a shear stress. So shear stress is equal to is equal to S times A times Y all over ixx times up which will be called to newtons per millimeter squared or kilonewtons per per square meter so this is the formula that you use to calculate your shear stress at any point in question so here we have s so s is the shear shear force so this is maximum this is a maximum shear force in the beam it must be in it must be in newtons and then we have a so a is the area also in millimeter squared so it is the area below or above point in in question so when you say area is the area below or above point in question so let's say you calculate shear stress at a so shear stress at a the area that you will use it is the area above point a same thing when you're calculating shear stress at b the area you will use it is the area above up because b is your point in question and then same thing when you're calculating shear stress at c of which is your neutral axis you will have area above point in question so it will be this area plus this area so once you pass your neutral axis you no longer look at the area above point in question but you look at the area below point in question so that's what this a in this formula stands for its area below or above point in question depending whether you are above the neutral axis or you are below the neutral axis